Hey everybody, what's up? I'm Mason the Mason. In this video, I'll be pouring a uh, concrete patio thing with my uncle. We got the truck pulling up now. Got some wheelbarrows. It's gonna be a wheelbarrow job. All right, got that chewed up under here. So this is what we got going on. I hand dug all this out the other day. I got some height pins there. Got my screed. I put expansion against the building. Rebarred it as well through the expansion. That way it doesn't mess up his building. He's got everything's all graded up. Then I got this little sidewalk thing back here that he wanted as well. Same thing. Had to hand dig all that out and uh, haul it all away. They're filling my uncle's wheelbarrows way up, full, full. And we had a wheel all the way back here first and dump it all the way back there. So I helped him do like the first four wheelbarrows and I had to hop on the Darby there and rake all that out, flatten her out, get her to height, make it all smooth. That was a good time, good time. So yeah, it wasn't really that hard back there. It was really easy. I just had to rub it with my Darby, make sure it was flat. And then I filled that all up. Then we went over to the big section and I'm doing all the benches. So I do the around the building around the edges of the forms and then I put that bench to the height pin and then I pull each side. So I did all the raking and stuff. And then uh, when uh, my uncle swamped me, he would help rake. But I just keep doing the same thing. Get all your benches established, then pull that screed right through both sides. Um, yeah, so this is a fun part. So I had him just keep bringing them in because I wanted to get that truck out of there so they wouldn't whack me with truck time. And uh, we ended up having way too much concrete because I didn't really eyeball it too good, which was my fault, and that kind of sucked. So we had about two wheelbarrows extra of concrete. So that was real fun. <laughs> and now I'm bull floating it, and uh, it was a little wet, but you know, it was all right. I just wanted to seal the top. I left a lot of lines in there, so. Yeah, so I'm leaving lines like crazy for the bull float because it's a little too wet. So uh, I want to let it set up a little bit. I can't really get a bull float back there. Along that. So we got her all edged and ready to finish on uh, both pads here. So that turned out real nice. Everything was real flat. Now we're going to start finishing. So we start with that. We got our mud boards and uh, we mag the cream up. Make sure there's no mud board marks. And I put my uh, swirls in there. And we just do that all the way back. Make sure there's no holes in the top. You know, all the swirls look real good. And you just keep doing that over and over and over again. Which is a little bit more work than a pool broom finish which is all right. I like it like that. The customers like the way this looks, so that's why I do it this way. And then it started to get really hard back there, so I made sure to get that edge on and uh, make sure that it didn't get too crusty. Finished that side up, made her look real nice. Then we uh, moved right over to the little sidewalk section. Can't really see the brush marks too good in this, but it's all right. This was real easy since it was in the shade. It didn't set up at all compared to the other side, which was rock hard by the end. And uh, at the end of this, uh, we're about there. I taught my uncle how to run this edger. So I helped him show him how to do that, how to finish edge, and it turned out real nice. So that was that side, that was that side. Really like the way these uh, swirls look when they're finished. Everything looks real crisp, clean. And uh, yeah, it turned out real nice. Got all our forms off. Yep. Cleaned up uh, that mess of concrete we had over here. So that's all good. Put this uh, gutter thing back on. I'm gonna mark out some lines for some saw cuts. All right, snap these lines. It's a little too soft the cutter. So I'll be back in a couple hours. Slice it up. Gotta work by the lights, you know, but I'm all done anyway, so that's it for this project. Uh, tomorrow I'll be uh, doing some sidewalks, so next video, the sidewalks. So, if you got any questions, leave them in the comments, I'll be happy to answer them. Thanks for watching.